What's up, Knicks Nation, and welcome to another player preview for the 2024-2025 season for the New York Knicks. Today we have rookie Tyler Kolek. Excited to get into a conversation about the intriguing rookie. Appreciate every single one of you tuning in and giving us your time. If you're new here, smash the subscribe button, hit the thumbs up button, and let's get into it. Tyler Kolek, Chris, I mean, it, it, this. I feel like this conversation is going to be a fun one you know yeah you know tyler kolik is, is is a very intriguing name you know went through summer league balled out and dare i say you know knicks fans are kind of you know excited to watch this kid play so i'm excited to talk about him yeah likewise tyler kolik look did i know much about tyler kolik around draft time no i'm not gonna lie to you I had no clue who the kid was but seeing him in summer league and obviously doing a little bit of research when the Knicks acquired him on, on, on draft night. This kid looks like he's a winner, man. Mm -hmm. Like he, he's he's a sharp shooter. He can play defense pretty well. Obviously, as we saw in summer league, he can dish the rock. And look, he's he just seems to be the proven winner type, exactly what you want on a squad. And, and somebody who can potentially be a pretty important depth depth piece for us you know this season so i uh, i'm also excited by tyler kolik curious to curious what's what's your opinion on him granted i know he hasn't played a, a single minute yet in the nba but you know I'm, I'm excited for him i have a few thoughts about about kolik you know kind of rewind a little bit the knicks traded up for him in the second round. I think they traded three second round picks, 2027, 2029, and 2030. So they traded up for Tyler Kolick. They targeted Tyler Kolick. They liked Tyler Kolick. They wanted Tyler Kolick. They drafted Tyler Kolick. Yeah. Then they gave him $6.6 million in guaranteed money, setting a new NBA record for a second round pick. So they like this kid. Chris, yeah. that tells me they liked him very much. Summer League, he impressed. His assist numbers were impressive. His turnover to assist rate was impressive. Now I know what you're going to say. It's Summer League. Uh, we saw Kevin Knox be the Summer League king and turned out to be. <laughs> <laughs> but <laughs> Sorry, I had to bring that up. He, he, he continued <laughs> to be the Summer League king because he played, you know, this past Summer League, believe it or not. Yeah. So, um, so <laughs> yeah. So, shout out to Kevin Knox. Yeah, shout out to Kevin Knox. So, they traded the, those three picks for him. They got, they acquired him. They targeted him. They gave him all that guaranteed money, setting a record. Yeah. So, Kolek played four years in college, one at George Mason, three at Marquette. He led the NCAA in assists last season while averaging 15 points in 31 games and shooting 39% from three. Big East Player of the Year in 2023. First team, all Big East in 2023. So, Knicks like him, Chris. And, you know, that, that just tells me that he has tons of fans within this organization. And it's just whether you think that he's going to crack the rotation. It's whether you think that he's going to come into training camp, impress Tom Thibodeau, have Tom Thibodeau trust him, because this is a critical year. This is a championship year, right? I mean, I wouldn't say this is this is our final team, but, you know, I mean, we're up there, top two, three team in the Eastern Conference. So yeah. from what we from what you saw in the summer league, what I mean, from what I just laid out there, the contract, the trading up, I, that just tells me they love him. Yeah. So. Yeah, I mean, look, they definitely have, you know, they're definitely high on Tyler Kolick. That's that's no, that's no mystery, right? Yeah. I mean, look, you're talking about a guy who early on in the NBA draft projects, you know, in projections, he was supposed to be a first round pick. They were saying he could go anywhere from 25 to 29, 30, you know, regardless, that's first round draft pick area. Obviously, he goes 34 to the Portland Trailblazers, and then we acquired his rights. Mm -hmm. um, but like you said, the Knicks definitely targeted him, and I think getting him at 34 is just a steal. A steal. I mean, this is a guy who, you know, like you said, shot 39% from three. You know, showed that he, he can be an elite playmaker, 
And, you know, even at Marquette, he was one of seven players in that program's history to be named All-American, you know. I he's mean, good. <laughs> he's a winner. <laughs> he's a winner, and that's what you want. You know, every every single scouting report on Tyler Kolick was basically, look, this guy is ready to help right away. And with the Knicks looking to contend, especially after acquiring Mikel Bridges, obviously re-signing OG Ananobi, you know, knowing the flaws that we had last year when it came to the depth and players getting hurt, I think Tyler Cole could be a, a like I said a big piece. I'm glad you I'm glad you said he's a winner because it seems like the Knicks are kind of building their team around winners. Obviously, Brunson won a championship, uh, the NCAA championship in Villanova. Mikel, Josh Hart, Dante. You can't really teach that DNA like what it takes. So. Knicks targeted him, they acquired him, they drafted him, and okay, here's a scouting report from ESPN's Jonathan Gavani. Hope I'm pronouncing his his name right. Kolek picked opposing defenses apart last season out on pick and rolls, whipping the ball around to shooters, getting to floaters, and proving opportunistic in shooting. Like you said, Chris, 39% of his shots from beyond the arc. His average tools might make him divisive among nba teams but his approach and feel for the game will appeal to franchises looking for a backup point guard so you know his passing ability chris like i from what i saw in, in his college days i watched i watched some some college tape on him and his summer league his passing ability was 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 so impressive to me and i feel like the knicks the reason why they they targeted him was because of that they they kind of need that off the bench, they kind of need that passing ability. And it's just now it's just a, a, a question of do you think that he will get substantial time? Obviously, you have Dante on the bench. You bring in campaign. I'm not saying campaign needs to play. You you also have Hart off the bench, Deuce. So it's just where do you find the time for Kolek? But like like I think if he's if he's if he's going to come at the training camp and if he's going to provide flashes in the preseason, you're going to have fans calling for him and you're going to have fans wanting to see him play based on his passing ability alone. Because the Knicks are going to miss the Knicks are going to miss Hartenstein's passing. I'm not saying they like Kolek can, you know, make up for that, but it's just a, like a different element to yeah. this team. Yeah. But I, but I, I understand that, and and obviously he's not gonna make up like he's, yeah. you know, I heart was amazing for us, and look, two different positions there, but you know, I, I go back to uh John, Jonathan Giovanni, where he sheds a little bit more light on Kolek as far as his scouting report, mm-hmm. and he mentioned Kolek has shown he can play off the ball as well, making again thirty nine percent of his three point uh, attempts the past two seasons which should help him fit into multiple lineup configurations operating alongside other ball handlers. Mm. So to me, when I take that little excerpt and I just plug it into, you know, the situation of the Knicks, could we see, you know, I won't say Tyler Kolick and Jalen Brunson out there at the same time, but could we see campaign and Tyler Kolick? Could we see Tyler Kolick and Deuce McBride at some point, you know, I like um, that. Maybe. I like maybe that. but that that's that's pretty damn interesting you know he's a guy that doesn't necessarily need the ball in his hands but can also play alongside another guard out there no problem so you know i think again tyler Kolek just kind of fits in well with this nick squad and kind of the positionless basketball type of deal we got going on and look he's he's a rookie obviously you know Saying that he's going to be on the court with Deuce McBride or even you know campaign is is a stretch in itself. But if this if this guy's the real deal and and he's playing he plays as well as he did in summer league or close to what he did in college, it's going to be hard to keep him off the floor. You know, it's it's kind of giving me vibes of Emmanuel quickly. You know, granted, yes, it took Emmanuel quickly. You know, couple couple seasons to kind of get that role and be that yeah. backup PG for us. Or that spark plug, whatever you want to, you know, put his role at the time. But considering all the scouting reports are saying Kolek is ready to go, would it really surprise you if he kind of hits the floor running? No. I have a feeling we're going to see Kolek a lot this year. 
I, I, I truly do. Look, going back to what, what I said, the Knicks traded up for him. They, they gave him that guaranteed money. I have a feeling we're going to see Tyler Kolick within this within this rotation. What we saw from in, in summer league, I, his vision is insane. Like it's a, it's amazing, you know. And, and 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 that's that that's a gift, you know. Having a point guard like that with vision like that, getting guys in their spots, and like what Chris said, he can kind of play off of guys. He's already kind of like a, you know, fans that they they watch his summer league performance, and he already, you know. A lot of fans were like, "Ooh, we're hype!" I don't know, Tyler Kolick, <laughs> okay, hitting game winners in summer league, and yeah, that's right, <laughs> dishing a hook forty, and he looked good, man. Yeah, he, we're gonna. I mean, he, he had plenty of opportunities in summer league to to kind of like, you know, score. I felt if he wanted to, but you know, it almost seemed like they just said, "Hey, show us what you could do from a playmaking standpoint." And this man just went out there and rarely turned the ball over, which I feel like is just, again, I know it's summer league, but what do you see in summer league? Turnovers, turnovers, mm-hmm. turnovers. And he was just, you know, he was he was a floor general out there. He controlled the game, dished the ball well, got mad assist. And hopefully that's just uh, a little bit of what's to come as far as Tyler Colin. And I feel like the Knicks... You know, they, they normally, you know, tell the coaching staff down in summer league to, you know, tell certain guys to work on certain things. And I feel like the Knicks were yeah. – they they wanted to see Tyler Kolek's passing ability. And, look, that's just natural in his game in itself. But when he was trying to score more, Chris, I mean, you we saw it. You know, it's – he – you know, his release is, is – is, is, I like his shooting form. Um, yeah. You know, his – like we said, his passing ability is pretty good. Summer league stats – 27 minutes, nine points, 35% from the field, 31% from three, 90% from the free throw line. We love to see that, right? Good free throw shooters. That that shows you that he's a shooter, man. He he, he, he He's a shot maker. I, I believe he's a shot maker, man. And, and if there's one thing we need on this Knicks team is a good free, free throw shooter. shooter. <laughs> yes. Yes. Because, please. please. Yeah, I'm, I'm getting bad flashbacks, but... Um, seven assists, one one steal a game, half a block. Okay, it's so all over the floor, man. it's all over the floor. So 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 yeah. I mean, I'm 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 really intrigued to watch Tyler Kolek this season. And and like Chris said, the Knicks have a history of 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 developing as well. You know, quickly do so. It gives me confidence that Kolek could be that next guy that really. Not, not take the throne, but kind of like take the bat- baton and, you know, just run away with it. And I, I feel like his passing ability is alone is going to, you're going to see a lot of Tyler Kolek highlights this year. And we got a lot of like TJ McConnell um, comparisons from Kolek, but Kolek quickly kind of like shut that down a little bit. He was like, yeah, nah, I don't, he, he, don't didn't, he didn't like that at all. Don't compare <laughs> me to this guy. <laughs> But you can you can kind of his defense needs a little bit of work. But you know, McConnell's kind of like that gritty guy, but gritty tough defender. But I can see the comparisons. I can see them. Can you see them? You don't see them. I, I mean, Chris look, see we had Kolek when he was when he was told about that. He was like, "Nah, I'm I'm more like Jalen Brunson." <laughs> so I like that because I, I I did again summer league. You saw a little bit of the footwork, you know, and and obviously we all know what Jalen Brunson does when Jalen Brunson's out on the basketball court. So I think it's gonna be you know hell if I'm Tyler Kolick, I'm just ecstatic that I get the chance to pick Jalen Brunson's brain day in and day out and learn from you know not the tallest guy on the court, but one of the smallest. And learn how to be effective and just find ways to one obviously score and then through and uh and two run a team you know tyler cole like i feel like all the potential is there man yeah all he's the potential getting, is he, there he is going to be picking brunson's brain in practice and probably carrying the guy's bags because he is a rookie he's probably going to be doing all the rookie shenanigans that the guys put rookies through but you know, I, I I feel like this is a, a name to watch, Knicks fans. I feel like Kolek is going to be, you know, that player that's going to sh- shock a lot of people around the NBA. I feel like 
that will happen. And maybe, look, I'm the optimistic Nick fan who kind of thinks everyone's going to play really well and have a great season and nobody's going to play bad. But I don't know. I just have a feeling about this kid, Chris. It's just a feeling that I can't shake, really. And I don't know. It kind of reminds me of Deuce a little bit. You know, Deuce took a couple of years to get there. But I don't know. I, don't, I just have a feeling about Kolek. To me, to me, he gives me Emmanuel quickly vibes, you know? Yeah. Again, uh, someone who coming in obviously was, you know, sold as a player who can eventually be a decent player. And we all saw what Emmanuel quickly worked hard for and turned into. Um, I think Tyler Kolek could take a similar type of path, maybe a little bit quicker, quicker, because he seems to be more ready to go at the moment. So that that's kind of the comparison, but I am extremely excited about Tyler Cole because he's gonna get an opportunity. He's gonna get an opportunity, you know. Obviously, they're not gonna want to run Brunson out there, you know, forty five plus minutes a game or something like that. And obviously, we do have guys like Campaign, but I think there's gonna be plenty of opportunities for Tyler Cole to kind of get some minutes out there and you know get his feet a little bit wet in the NBA. And also, when you I'm I'm just excited about watching him play with really nice pieces around him, like great talent around him. You know, when you surround a player that has the passing ability like Kolek, like Chris said, imagine you surround him with Brunson and then you have Ananobi and then you have Mikel or Dante and then you have a Julius or Mitch, you know, Mitch. Yeah, even loves- Mitch. Loves those lobs and maybe Kolek unlocks that, right? Yeah. Yeah. Ima- imagine like I- I'm just excited to watch those types of lineups. You know. Yeah. It's, it's gonna be a lot of different lineups the Knicks can tinker with, and like he's a rookie, but you know I don't know. <laughs> yeah, that I mean that's the only thing you gotta take a step back and, and you know look. It's first you know he's just drafted, hasn't played a single damn game in the NBA, <laughs> but. You know, we we can't help it, man. Like, hey, this is the Knicks Nation podcast. We're over yeah. here. We're, we're gonna we're gonna help hype up our guy, man. But I I think he's I think he has the potential to be something you know special. You know, obviously, it's gonna be tough for him to get to Brunson's level, but I do yeah, think he, have, he can yeah. carve out his own little niche on this roster for sure. You know, yeah. simply doing what he does, playing alongside other guards and obviously having the passing vision, having that feel of the game at, you know, at this point, you know, that's why I'm so hyped. If he has that type of a, a command over being able to, to run a team, having that feel to, you know, facilitate for others at this point, you know, he can only go up in my yeah. opinion. So that that's what gets me excited. Yeah, and like we like we saw some of the passes in, in summer league, really impressive stuff from from Kolek. And like I said, you surround him with a, t- a bunch of a boatload of talent around him. And I feel like we're in him for for a special year for not a, not a, like a special year, but like a good season from from Kolek. Yeah, for sure. Like yeah. like I mentioned, he's, I feel like he's gonna be a really important depth piece for us, and he's he's gonna surprise some people out yeah, there. Important. You know, yeah, again. A guy who was being mocked as being a first round pick who That's slipped important. a little bit. Yep. And and again, thank thank you to Portland, which we seem to be doing, you know, deal after deal with. But again, hey, thank you, Portland, because uh, you know, Tyler Kolick, he's you know, in my opinion, is gonna have a bright future. Yes, indeed. And and look, Knicks have a a, a lot of guards, so you know, God forbid something was to happen, you know, injuries happen, you know, Cola can just, you know, hopefully step in there and we don't want injuries to happen, but it's just the nature of the game. Injuries happen. You know, no one really stays healthy besides Mikel Bridges, knock on wood. Yeah. <laughs> don't want, don't want that to happen. Um, but yeah, I'm excited for for this season, for for this rookie season from Kolek. You know, an, an actual, I feel like he is a head in gym. I feel like he, he he was a gem. The Knicks targeted him, and they gave him that guaranteed money. And he has a bunch of fans within the, this Knicks organ, organization. And I'm just really intrigued from from this upcoming season from Kolek, Chris. Um, anything? Oh, bold, bold prediction Oof. for Tyler Kolek. 
I say bold. Tyler Cole. Well, shoot, bold. Hmm. All right, let me let me think about it. <laughs> bold prediction. Tyler Kolek will become the backup point guard. Mm, Spelling okay. Jalen Brunson. Okay. So he yeah, could be the backup yeah. already. Then I guess I could say, uh, yeah. I was going to say he probably would have to leapfrog Deuce McBride as well. But again, like, like I mentioned earlier, I feel That's like. Happening, Chris. <laughs> I feel like you could kind of like, you know, you could have Kolek and Deuce out there. Yeah, you can. You know? Yeah. So that's that's my opinion. But. That that'll be my bold prediction. He's gonna he's gonna leapfrog and and, and be that backup point guard once Jalen Brunson comes off the floor, you know. Because again, if I just feel if he's able to facilitate the way he has been, mm-hmm. and again, I know it's summer league, can't really take much from it. But if he's able to do that at the NBA level, I feel like that's the perfect type of player you want to come in mm-hmm. when Jalen Brunson is getting his rest. Because you got somebody who can run the show and keep things going. Yeah. Hmm. Bold prediction. I feel like we will see a game this season of 14 assists, 15 assists from Kolek. Damn. You no, know, I feel like there's a game in there this season. If he starts. Can you imagine him doing that off the bench? That'd be crazy. <laughs> that would be that'd be dope. I feel like he can give us like six, six, seven assists off the bench. That's I mean that's that's a lot. I mean, don't know how how much he's gonna play, but if he gives us that five, six, seven assists, averaging off the bench, and working on his three point shot, we're in for a good season for Mister Tyler Kolick. Absolutely, absolutely. And if you guys haven't seen. The videos of Tyler Kolek and Jalen Brunson going at it Black Ops. in the Black Ops runs. Go and check that out because, hey, Brunson looks like Brunson, thankfully. And Tyler Kolek, man, he looks like he's holding his own out there. So check that out if y'all haven't seen that. Yes, sir. Check it out. All right. This was fun. Another player preview in the books. Tyler Kolek. Hope for a great year from him. In case you wanted to catch our previous player preview, it is right here on the screen. Just hit that video and it'll bring you throughout our player previews. We're doing a player preview for every single Nick right up and right up against training camp and media day. So at the end of September, but this was fun, Chris. This was yeah. fun. Can't wait Off to see Tyler Knicks. Kolek on the NBA floor for the Knicks, man. Whenever it happens, you know, I'm assuming preseason. So game one, let's go. <laughs> Can't Celtics wait, game winner. Celtics. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, let me stop. <laughs> now that's a bold prediction, yeah, right yeah, there. That's a bold prediction. <laughs> All right, I'm Anthony from Knicks Nation. I'm Chris. We'll catch you guys next time. Peace. Peace.